even if we go on YouTube and we search, uh, let's say, new shoes or new laptop or whatever, and suddenly it starts showing up, each and every ad starts showing up on different, uh, you know, uh, websites because it knows that currently today what you're looking for. So let's say it goes a step ahead. And then, yes, absolutely, you're right. Uh, in coming years, we could actually see that happening where each and every person is trapped by AI, where they know what your net, next step is going to be. Yeah. I mean, just for an ordinary person, it can be embarrassing too. Like, I don't want everyone to know that I buy shoes at Shoegasm. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely right. Because, you know, whenever you open your laptop and uh, let's say somebody is standing by your side and he sees your what you know, what kind of ads uh, your browser is displaying. So if he's smart enough, he can know what you've actually searched for in the past 24 hours. I guess so the way to explain to just somebody who doesn't really pay attention, it's like just imagine a world where there is absolutely zero privacy, where just everything you do is out there. That's basically what the world is today, really. But yeah. We, we haven't AI seen develops. the consequences for that yet on yeah. any large scale. Well, we haven't actually, because, you know, as we already discussed, uh, it's, you know, the, the system keeps on running and each and everything seems uh, natural in a particular manner. But only when you know the consequences, one person knows the consequences and possibly, you know, uh, illustrates it to others, only then it can become a little, uh, a little bit more, uh, I would say, people will know things only then. So how do we uh, stem the tide of this? Because it already seemed like the Chinese Communist Party, like d from what you're saying, it doesn't even necessarily matter that the Indian government ha has banned these apps. If people have downloaded them, that's already most of the, most people in India, most people around the world, they already have their hooks into. That is the sole reason, you know, well, that is one of the reasons I would say that uh, China is actually way ahead in technological terms and it is actually matching up to us in terms of uh, technology and uh, i would say that uh, many of the major superpowers are actually afraid that it will one day it will surpass each and every other superpower in the whole world and that is why we can see a lot of politics also being involved like in banning uh, many other applications or uh, companies like huawei as well but we should talk about Huawei. I know the Indian uh, government has is not allowing Huawei to be involved in uh, 5G there. Uh, what are, are there different risks associated with Huawei? Well, the thing is that, uh, you know, uh, one thing that each and every country today in the whole world is afraid of is that uh, the Chinese, uh, you know, national intelligence law that came into being in 2017 so that law states that each and every uh, private firm that is there, whether it is Huawei, whether it is ByteDance, whether each and every uh, firm that is there. So they're, you know, they, they must actually help uh, the Chinese government if the Chinese government asks for data. That states they, they should help in each and every circumstance. So each and every country is actually afraid. Let us suppose... Uh, Huawei comes into India or Huawei comes into any other country with their 5G networks and starts stealing uh, mass data, mass telecommunication data. And uh, that has, uh, that will be a great, uh, you know, economic loss for the country because nowadays what is happening is data is the new oil in today's days. And we cannot afford that uh, data being, uh, you know, one con once country's data being uh, actually uh, be seen by the other countries or being used by the other countries. Well, I know in India, even though they're, they're banning Huawei from the 5G, uh, Huawei phones are still available for sale. Well, that is one actually, uh, you know, they've not banned Huawei yet. In 2019, uh, you know, uh, the Indian government said that, okay, Huawei could participate in 5G and then the 2020 standoff happened between India and the Chinese soldiers and then uh, currently what happened was that uh, Huawei was excluded from the list of 5G probables uh, that was there. So, yes, your point that still Huawei phones are still used in India. But uh, comparatively now, what has happened is that uh, there will be 
very 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 less people who are using these particular phones because now they don't have google support as well uh, but in future we could also see that huawei phones being banned by the indian government or uh, you know the other governments as well in the whole world if you had a huawei phone would that be would that be essentially like if you had downloaded tiktok on your phone like they have everything about you no matter what well not exactly actually because uh, i would say there is a difference between how a hardware works and how a particular software works so having a particular application that keeps on monitoring to you, monitoring you 24/7 uh hardware has its own complexities uh having said that i would not say that yes it is completely safe uh if i ever have been given an option between any other particular phone or huawei i would definitely exclude huawei from my list <laughs>